that Article 29 shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $29,487 for the replacing, upgrading, and modifying of the existing computer system operated by the IT division under the Finance Department and authorize the withdrawal of $29,487 from the Management Information Systems Capital Reserve Fund created for that purpose by Article 27 of the 1997 town meeting and to vote after the foregoing withdrawal of the sum of $29,487 is made to discontinue said Management Information Systems Capital Reserve Fund with the balance of said funds with accumulated interest to date of withdrawal to be transferred to the general fund. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0. Not recommended by the Budget Committee 5-7. Fiscal impact note, Finance Department, no tax impact. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 29? Moved by Mr. Woodell, is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Bridal. Uh, is there someone who would like to speak to Article 29? Ms. Pulliam, Finance Director. Good afternoon, I'm Christy Pulliam, the Finance Director for the Town of Hampton, and I also um, is a am the Supervisor for the MIS Department. The MIS Capital Reserve Fund was created in 1997 under Warren Article Number 27. As a result of discussions with the Budget Committee, the Board of Selectmen drafted this article. If this article is to pass, it will be used to implement 365 Live and purchase any necessary replacement equipment for the um, MIS department. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Bridal. Thank you, Mr. Moderator, Nick Bridal, 225 Toll Farm Road. Um, I was on the budget committee, subcommittee for IT in this town, and uh, was voted into the chairman position for that uh, subcommittee. Uh, the subcommittee talked about this uh, article in particular, uh, and we advised the budget committee as a whole that our position was not to fund this Warren article, as there was not a proper plan implementation in place, and we wanted something more definitive um, shown to us before we could approve that. We do think that Office 365 is a wonderful uh, implementation for the town, but we want to see how the plan to implement that was going to be laid out before we uh, could give our approval on that. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you, Mr. Bridal. Mr. Jones. I was on the IT subcommittee of the Budget Committee when I was a member of the Budget Committee. And the Budget Committee reduced the proposed budget for MIS with consideration of this Warren article. MIS was uh, represented to us as basically wanting to do the same equipment purchases that they did the prior year, which is basically a 20 PC re uh, per year replacement. With last year's budget, 2015, they purchased the 20 PCs. And with lowering PC prices, uh, we saw no reason to increase the dollar amount to achieve the same results in 2016. So we gave them in the budget line item the same dollar amount. When it came down to discussing this, uh, it has been reported in other forums that the Budget Committee recommended expending this MIS fund. That was never true. The Budget Committee never took such a position. In fact, when we voted on this, you can see it's 5-7, we voted against supporting this Warren article. We then took a subsequent vote by 5-7 to ask the Board of Selectmen to withdraw this article because this article is intending to put money back into the MIS budget which has already been deemed sufficient. No one has disputed that the 2015 budget for 2016 in MIS was not sufficient. So there's no reason to add this to it. Zero reason. It's just taking money out of a fund that's intended to do something specific, and we have no specific plans with what to do with this money except pad a budget line item. I oppose this, as did the IT subcommittee, as did the budget committee. I urge everyone to oppose this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Ms. Pierce. Thank you. Mike Pierce, uh, 84 Lock Road, the last of the Mohicans on the IT 
but, uh, subcommittee on the budget but for the budget committee. Um, my feeling about this it violates a couple of my rules. The original Warren article inferred or said that it should be an MIS committee decide to do who would decide what to recommend with the money in the fund. This violates that Warren article in my mind. Legal people will probably disagree, but when you have a Warren article that says the MIS committee should recommend or not recommend, that's the way it should be as far as I'm concerned. Because I believe that Warren articles be taken the way they are written and the way they're passed by the legislative body. So back to this, I'm against that for principle on that issue. The second issue is we had no plan for 365 that was ever presented to us. That is quite a change from what we normally do. I've been in the computer business since the beginning of time, and you always have a plan, and sometimes a lot of detail. In fact, Microsoft had a piece of software just for planning, and they sold it for years. And we, haven't, we didn't see any planning. We didn't know how they're going to do it. We only know we have so many people that work for the town and so many people that have computers. That's basically all we achieved in that arena as far as a plan. So I'm against this 100%. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Ms. Wolsey? Mr. Moderator, predicated on the information that we've received, and I wasn't really tuned into what the Budget Committee representatives had to say, but I really appreciate their comments. I will move that the Board of Selectmen be directed to withdraw this article from the warrant. Well, we can't do that, Ms. Wolsey, because every article that's here on a warrant has to appear. What you do have the uh, ability to do is shape, to a certain extent, what that article is going to look like. But Article 29 is going to appear on the ballot on March 8th. Can we move to zero the total? Is that acceptable? You can do that. That's a permissible amendment. And if that is your amendment, I would look for a second, um, a second by Mr. Kravitz. And I understand your amendment. I'd ask it for in writing for the town clerk is to change 29,487, uh, wherever it appears, um, to zero. Um. Give me a minute. I'll write it up. Do you wish to speak to your amendment, Ms. Woolsey? I'm impressed with the information that the IT committee has brought forward. There's no sense in having subcommittees if people don't dig into the subject and look it up. Uh, I wish I had uh, understood their position more clearly before this went on. But unless we have a specific plan to do something, I can't see just throwing an amount of money out there and, and see what happens when it hits the wall. So I would be more comfortable zeroing it out for this year and then try to approach it next year on a more uh, orderly and, and uh, calculated basis. Thank you, Ms. Wolsey. Mr. Jones, would you like to speak to the Wolsey Amendment? I appreciate the intent of the amendment, uh, but I'm concerned that it's not going to uh, effectuate the desired result. By reducing these numbers to zero, you still have verbiage that says, after the foregoing withdrawal of the sum of zero is made, to discontinue the MIS capital reserve fund. With the balance of said funds, which would be all of it, uh, to be transferred to the general fund. So it's still going to get emptied out, only instead of going to the MIS budget, it's going to go to the general fund. Am I reading that correctly, Mr. Moderator? I believe so, Mr. Jones. So I'm going uh, to go to Ms. Woolsey to see if she would like to adjust Mr. her um, amendment. Um, 
is, uh, Mr. Mauer, is it the intent of the article to move zero on all the existing line, all right. the existing sums within the article? That was my understanding was that um, the uh, intent of the amendment was not to do what was set forth in Article 29. Correct. So okay. not to take the money out, not to put it in the, uh, uh, mm -hmm. in the uh, general fund, right. uh, not to discontinue the fund to Mr. Jones's point. Um, so if that is the intention, then in that second section that Mr. Jones has identified, um, after it says zero, um, then we might replace the word discontinue and insert the word maintain. Um, and then um, we'd have to strike the language about um, transferring the money to the general fund. Yes. So we would uh, zero out um, 29487 where it appears, and in the second section, we would strike the word discontinue and insert the word maintain, and then um, um, uh, I think we just put a period after uh, capital reserve fund and strike with the balance of said funds a withdrawal to be transferred to the general fund. So you'd strike right. that you that action that language. Is that what you're? Well, that would be. Uh something I can support. However, I need to speak to that as well, unfortunately. Right. Well, is that, uh, is that consistent with your intention, Ms. Yeah, Wolsey? Wh whatever will work and stall this uh, effort off for another year. Right. I, I grant you, I did this on the fly, but I didn't realize the uh, information that the subcommittee had. Right. Mr. Yep. Kravitz, it was your second. Would you consent to having your uh, second apply to uh, this language that's up on the screen? Okay. All right. So, we have a uh, motion, uh, an amendment made by Ms. Woolsey, seconded by Mr. Kravitz, to, to essentially um, not undertake the effort of Article 29 as mm -hmm. it's presented. Um, and I'm going to let Mr. Jones speak to this Woolsey amendment. Thank you, Ms. Moderator. I now speak with great sadness because this I can support in terms of what it says, but there's something about the democratic process that seems to be amiss. I interpret this change to be a substantive change to the original Warren article. And, and if you're looking for a ruling from me, we're still talking about the same subject matter. So a substantive change could be taking something from zero uh, to 100,000 or vice versa. That's not the standard that I understand we apply. The question is, are we still talking about the same thing? We are. We're just adjusting what's uh, going to be done with the dollars. And we're, we're zeroing it out. Uh, which we're permitted to do, and there's some action language at the end that we are uh, uh, impacting as well. Well, Mr. Moderator, with your ruling giving me some degree of process comfort, and I can support this amendment, uh, and I won't move to overrule you, even though I disagree with you, but I appreciate the uh, process comfort you've given me. It's helped a lot. I do support this amendment and hope everyone can support it as well. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard on the Woolsey Amendment? I, uh, I would Mr. like Griffin? to say I'm supportive also. You're in support of the Woolsey yes. Amendment? All right. Uh, anybody else wishing to be heard <coughs> on the Woolsey Amendment? <coughs> correct. Yeah, you've got it correctly. We've got it as I understand Ms. Woolsey wants it, so it would read now, shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of zero for replacing, upgrading, and modifying of the existing computer system operated by the IT division under the finance and author the withdrawal of zero from the MIS system capital reserve fund created for that purpose to vote after the foregoing withdrawal of the sum of, and you've got to change that 29,487 to zero. to maintain the Management Information Systems Capital Reserve Fund. Are you, is that in accord with your intentions? Mr. Kravitz, is that? Okay. All right, does anyone else have any, um, nothing? So we're gonna have a vote on the Woolsey Amendment which um, will essentially leave the status quo, as I understand yes. it, with the MIS um, 
with the MIS fund. Um, all those in favor of the Woolsey Amendment, raise your voter card. Down cards. All opposed? I declare the Woolsey Amendment has passed. Do we have any further discussion on Article 29 as amended? Right now, the value of the deliberative session, and I'm really ashamed that more members of the public aren't here, but I want to thank Mr. Bridal and Mr. Jones for their hard work on that subcommittee and uh, really appreciate their help. All right. Thank you for your help. All right. So um, I think we're all set on 29. It will appear on the ballot as amended.